as working from home becomes more common, a lot of people might be looking to revamp their desk setup. In this video, I will go over my 2023 work from home setup in hopes that it can serve as inspiration for your own. Starting with the desk itself, I am using the walnut pinup countertop from IKEA. The countertop is 98 by 25 inches. I went with this size because I needed enough space to fit the ultra wide monitor, as well as a PC and the MacBook on the other side. The great thing about the pinup countertop is that it is solid wood, so if the smaller version is still too big, you can get it cut to a size that works for you. Holding up the countertop are some standing legs from Anthrodesk. I've had these for about 3-4 to four years now, and they still work perfectly so I definitely recommend them. As you may have already noticed, for storage I am using the very popular IKEA Alex drawers. I love these drawers as they have a simple design and the color matches very well with the aesthetic of my setup. As for the monitor, it is an LG 34 inch ultrawide. The main reason I decided to have an ultrawide in the setup was to increase productivity. When it comes to coding and video editing it has definitely been a step up from the previous 27 inch monitor I was using. However, this ultrawide monitor can also be great for games such as Flight Simulator, Formula 1 and RPG games such as Hogwarts Legacy. Holding up the monitor is the standard LG arm which I set behind this beautiful growth main monitor stand that makes the monitor look like it is floating. Because I use this setup mainly for productive tasks, it also means that I spend a lot of time on it at night. This is why good lighting was a priority when building this setup. At center stage we got the BenQ screen bar halo monitor light. This light is one of my favorite items on the setup as it does a great job at lighting the desk mat area. This allows me to work late at night with no issues at all. With its very sleek controller you can adjust light temperature and intensity, as well as save your favorite setting. As for the background lighting, I have a LifeX strip behind the desk and the Philips Hue light bars behind the monitor. In addition, there is also a backlight from the BenQ monitor light itself. This backlighting is important especially when working at night, as I find it helps to relieve some eye strain. On the desk itself I have a Sonos lamp from IKEA, which also doubles as a Bluetooth speaker. This lamp stays off most of the time, but it is still nice to have. Because I make YouTube videos with voiceovers, it was important for me to have good audio equipment. On the Scarlett third gen audio interface I connect my Shure MV7 XLR microphone, as well as the Audio-Technica ATH Pro 5 Access headphones. The microphone sits on a blue compass boom arm and I added a pop filter that I got from Amazon so that I can have better audio quality when recording voiceovers. I think even if you're not doing any voiceover recording, an audio interface can still be very convenient for regulating your audio devices, especially when gaming or during meetings. For external sound, I have the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers which I plug directly into my PC, but also connect to my MacBook via Bluetooth. If you're going to have a nice setup, it is also very important to not neglect cable management. I take care of this by running cables underneath the desk through a server rack and connecting them to a power strip that I have also placed underneath the desk with 3M tape. I also use holder clips and cable straps to keep some of them from falling. Some other cable routing is done through the monitor arm as well as inside and behind the monitor stand. Because I use both Mac and PC on the setup, I use the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini and MX Master 3S as they allow for easily switching between Mac and PC. This way I don't need an extra set of mouse and keyboard for each operating system. The deskpad that they sit on is a light grey Wolfeld deskpad from Growthmate. A good setup wouldn't be complete without an aesthetically pleasing backdrop. The wall itself is painted with a bare Russian olive green paint which really brings the setup together. On the left I have a Growthmate shelf on which I have some IKEA plants as well as books. Underneath it, I have a pegboard from IKEA which I normally use to keep a calendar for the current month. To finish it off, at center stage I have this beautiful New York steel frame from IKEA, which I think greatly complements the rustic look of the setup. The chair I am using is a DX Racer Craft Series. It is comfortable, although a little on the stiff side. It allows you to lean back as well as adjust the lumbar support, in addition to other basic adjustments of office chairs. The build quality is very good, as I've had it for almost a year and it is still like new. That's what my work from home setup looks like at the start of 2023. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what changes I should make next. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.